in the woods Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Layla Bug and I are going to go out this morning and walk you guys around and show you some of the birds and how we're doing with our birds out here. Walk you around some of the pens and show you what's going on and show you our new hatch of babies. Layla Bug's excited. We got some baby pheasants and we got some baby guinea fowl for her to chase around and uh, we're going to take you on a little tour so stay with us and we'll be right with you. Okay guys, just a quick update on the birds out here at the Pathfinder School. I've had a couple people ask me about it. This is our first hatch of the year. I've got 12 ringneck pheasants and 6 guinea fowl in here. The ringneck pheasants were hatched in an incubator at Jeremy Janey's house. They are 12 of the 50 that we've got in incubation right now. And the guinea fowl were hatched out actually by their parents up on the hill. And we caught them running through the high grass yesterday and brought them into the breeding pen here with the little ring necks and you can tell the difference between the ring necks and the guineas the ring necks are the ones with the black stripes on their back and the guineas are a little bit fatter with bigger beaks there's a couple guinea fowl standing in there among them there's a little ring neck right there and this guy here these both of these are guinea fowl There's two of our adult guinea fowl right there. They were up checking on the babies this morning up by the porch to make sure they were all right. You see them running off there. Up here in the grass, we've got six ducklings hanging out that we raised from babies. They're getting bigger. You can see them just sitting in the grass over here. They're getting pretty big now. See up here, my old hound dog going crazy up here. He's got some chickens right here. We've got some Americana chickens right here hanging out underneath the tree off of those. Was that dog chasing those silly chickens? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's crazy, isn't he? That's so funny. Here's one of our nest boxes I just chased an Aracon off of. Got four eggs in it that we just collected yesterday. So that's four eggs we got, or five eggs, excuse me, that we got today that are fresh. It looks like there's another nest box over here that has four in it. So. One of those was a seed egg in all of these boxes, and you can see we've got that marked right there. That's a seed egg. So there's three there and four of these that are fresh eggs. So that's pretty good for one day. We've only got six hens. Okay, here's six more chickens that we recently released that we had in the brooder for a while. We bought them as chicks. That's Pulse. Now they're loose out here running around, growing up. Okay, here we are inside our ring neck pen. There's our cock bird right there. Let's see what we got in here today. We've got five gallon buckets that we're using for nest boxes. It looks like there's one egg in that nest. 
The other two don't have anything in them and there's a whole brood of eggs in that nest. Looks like there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in that nest. And we just collected out of here the other day. I sent 30 more eggs home with Jeremy the other day. And we've got at least two dozen in the refrigerator right now. So we're getting plenty of production off of our pheasants as well. There's one of those pheasants out here running around loose back there behind the bucket garden now she's getting ready now she's getting ready to go back inside the pen like I said they kind of run loose out here here's my quail and you can see inside there there's quite a few eggs that those quail are brooding on in there it looks like they're setting on looks like there's about a dozen eggs in there right now I haven't taken any of those out I have two males and two females in here 